Hello everyone, another day, another booster to open. Today is the 18th of December, so we are moving to 2010, new decade. So here is the booster. Let's check that everything is correct. Okay, looks fine, so let's open it. Alright, will I struggle today to open the booster? Will it go smoothly? We'll see, we'll see. Alright. Well, struggling a little bit already. Yeah, there we go. Haha! Oh, looks like today's going to be nice and easy. Perfect. So let's take a look at the card. Oh, there we go, Sun Titan. <laughs> I also have this card covered already, but that's fine. Okay, look at that art. So le let's read what it does. Uh, Sun Titan, it's a creature for 4 and 2 white mana. A 6-6 six, 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 six with Vigilance. Whenever Sun Titan enters the battlefield or attacks, you may return target permanent card with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So yeah, pretty good card. And look at that art style. <laughs> it has a holy, a holy aura. And this, this sword is pretty cool. It's a little bit in the style of the stained glass cards, but... It's not exactly... No, it's not a stained glass. How? What is... What is this style called? I think it has a name. But I don't remember it. But yeah, again, a very geometrical art style similar to the one we had a few days ago. Uh, look at the setting here. Like, okay, this is the sun behind the titan. So it, it looks like it's a halo, but it's actually the sun. So... We have that going on there. And I love how the part that is facing us is much darker. So, yeah, it's a very well thought out piece of art. <laughs> it has the original the original uh, ambient text. Yeah, well, it's quite fitting for this drawing, that's for sure. Oh, look at the clouds here. Oh, that's so good. Is this painted with with oils? I don't know, maybe it is. Okay then, wow, fantastic artwork. The card is really good too, I play it in a few decks. Uh, I think I have one copy in, in my apps and reanimator deck. And well, I have, I have a new copy now for it. I will swap it for this one for sure. Now... Uh, let me show you an extra card today from 2010, 2010, sorry. <laughs> That's the typical way of saying it, right? And it's my first Planeswalker ever. Here she is. Elspeth Tyrell. Now, uh, the card is in Spanish like usual, but I don't think that's a problem. Everyone here speaks Spanish, right? So let's read what the card does. Uh, Más dos. Ganas una vida por cada criatura que controlas. Menos dos. Pon el campo de batalla tres fichas de criatura soldado o blancas 1-1. Menos cinco. Destruye todos los otros permanentes excepto tierras y fichas. Fantástico. Now, I'm not messing with you. Just for the sake of it, okay? Um, if you look at the type line here, it says Planeswalker. So that's in English despite the card being in Spanish. And that's the case for almost all planeswalkers, but it's very strange because the first planeswalkers, the the ones from Lorwyn, those actually had their timeline translated. So unfortunately, I don't have any of them to show you. But if you look them up in Scryfall and change the language to Spanish, uh, you'll see here uh, Caminante de Planos. And I don't know why they changed that, because I actually really like that translation. It's it's a good translation. But anyway, that's today's piece of trivia. Uh, I actually play Elspeth, by the way. I, I have her in my band tokens deck. Anyway, uh, I'll be back tomorrow again. And we'll see what the 2011 
Booster has for us. Well, yeah, fantastic art. I love it. And that's about it. Bye bye.